Hello everyone, Nathan here with our weekly project discovery video presented by Collective Shift. This is our weekly recap to the best crypto and NFT projects that we found last week. We do this video five days a week for our pro members and expand upon the best projects. Check out Collective Shift for more info to keep completely up to date with new projects. Hopefully this video is about 20 minutes. No, there is no time to lose. Let's get started. First up today is Metrics DAO. This is uniting the best analytics minds in the space to build the future of crypto analytics. They've got a website, but I think we're living in Discord mostly at the moment. They joined Twitter in October. Looks like they said hello to the world October 29th. They're uniting the power of analysts of all levels to build the future of crypto analytics. So if you're someone that's into data in crypto, uh, Metrics DAO could be a community for you. They introduced themselves um, through Mirror.xyz, which is the publishing and crowdfunding platform. And we've got a down mission, why, who we are. They've got their Genesis participants, which I, if I remember right, yeah, they have their Genesis participants and then you can join and be a participant um, and get in their Discord. They say, come raise your hand. There'll be plenty, plenty to do. So they believe access for data to anal analysis should be open and free and that all data providers and, and analytics platforms help raise the tide of the overall crypto and blockchain ecosystem. Very, very true. I think the simple pulling of on-chain data and then the analysis of that on-chain data is gonna be big business um, in the next you know, five, 10 years. So that's Metrics DAO with about 900 people. So if you're in, in, into analytics, head over there and join the fund. Looks like Flipside Crypto, which is a name that some people should, should recognize. It looks like they're involved. Next up is Mad Realities, Interactive Community Governed, by, governed Reality TV DAO. So they want to have a TV station that's also a DAO. Come on, come on cast, vote on cast, excuse me, and more in their first dating show. So it looks like the first show on their TV station is going to be a dating show. Here it is, the Mad Realities crowdfund. Wow, this one's actually, they haven't fully raised funds. Typically with Mirror.xyz, these fundraisers do pretty well. Um, so they wanted 150 ETH or 700,000 to get this TV station started. <coughs> excuse me. And they've raised about 47 ETH as of today. They've got their zero token. So they've issued a bunch of zero tokens, Z-E-R-O. Crowdfunding 150 ETH to support the creation of Mad Realities, the first Web3 interactive TV channel. I like that phrase. So you buy an NFT, you have the ability to vote, lifetime membership, special governance powers, goes towards the funding of this community-driven season. Very cool. So it looks like the podium's closed at the moment but um, there's still some tiers that are available for sale. So we've got a Web3 TV station and then also a Web3 dating show, which looks like the first one coming out, which they're the experts on TV. Sounds good, people love reality telly. So they're doing zero tokens, there they are. Um, so you can contribute up to three ETH um, and participate. Surprised it hasn't sold out. Moving on to Tractor Joe, here we've got a meme coin for a very, very popular decentralized exchange on Avalanche called Trader Joe. Now, Pangolin was the first X on Avalanche, in my opinion, that grew in popularity, had a bit of TVL. Um, but then Trader Joe came along and absolutely is crushing Pangolin at the moment. So here's Tractor Token. T-R-A-C-T-O-R. That's the first Trader Joe community token on Avalanche. And what it's doing is buying back and burning Joe token. And the whole premise there is we buy, we buy, we buy the Joe tokens, which is the governance token for Trader Joe. And then they burn them, decreasing the supply. Um, I believe Trader Joe is a, they're, they're issuing new tokens. So they're trying to decrease the token supply inflation rate, thereby helping the price to continue to increase because basic economics says um, supply decrease, price increase. So a 3% reflection fee is redistributed to all token holders. So not only that, you're, if you're a Joe holder, you could buy tractor and then all of the fees um, from the tractor sales go to the tractor or 3% of them go to the tractor holders. So let's dive a little bit further into it. 1% burn mechanism, 3% fee reflection. The distribution was to X Joe stakers. Um, I think they had a few issues with their airdrop, but I think Trader Joe actually stepped in and helped them out, which is really nice to see. Every single tractor holder will also earn a 3% passive yield reflection from every buy and sell. So 3% of every transaction that's made goes to the tractor holders. You can buy the tractor. There's a little bit of lore here, a little story. And that's about it. We got a meme coin. Gotta love a good meme coin. Now, 
Oh, here's a roadmap too. Awesome. November 6th. Um, so just a couple of days ago, phase one of the tractor roadmap has been complete. Next, they're doing a competition. Then they want to do merch. Then they want to do, then they have a mystery for their, for their roadmap. Very cool. So another meme coin and one of the, uh, potentially a stronger one on Avalanche. Here's Nomad Dow. This is for everyone who wants to optimize their life according to current regulatory environments across various jurisdictions. Sorry, that was a whole lot of nothing. Believe this is a legal and crypto DAO. So if you're into law and crypto and that intersection, this could be a great community for you. There's already 200 people following. What questions do you have about taxation and regulation in your uh, de desired jurisdiction? What, what should we collectively ask and answer along our journey? So there it is, 200 members talking about the regulatory impacts based on your personal jurisdiction. Crypto and, the, and, and law, which is going to be huge, decentralized um, and autonomous legal frameworks. Next up is HyperDAO. This one, I don't know if, if we have too much information outside of a very, very interesting valuation proposition. Turning Telegram groups into trustless DAOs with multi-sig or multi-signature capabilities. Tuning in, tune in for more. So we haven't heard from them since October 27th. Looks like they were related to Hybert, to ETH Lisbon, and they had a little demo drop for, the, for us. They do say that DAO is the most natural form of human organization. Here we got a little mock-up here. Oh, cool. So you take Telegram and you turn it into a little Gnosis safe. Very, very cool. We could transfer Ethereum within Telegram. Sorry, I'm going very fast here. This is very, very exciting. So we'd have the Telegram group linked up to the Gnosis safe vault. I believe that was Gnosis safe. Double check there. Actually, excuse me, it's on Nostalgic Keller. So, excuse me, it can't be Gnosis Safe. We've got a new organization here that's hooking up multi sig capabilities similar to Gnosis Safe, uh, but they're doing it um, and doing it directly and integrating it with uh, Telegram. Quite impressive. So, decentralized communities are just so fun and so interesting at the moment. You hear so many people who have full time jobs but then are keeping track of crypto and NFTs on the side and participating in, you know, 10 or 20 discords. So, HyperDAO's building for them. Because Telegram is tough, you know. Telegram has its downfalls. So giving it Web3 payment capabilities could be um, very, very strong. Moving on to FriendDAO. They're a DAO within the Olympus DAO ecosystem focused on social causes. So it sounds like these are less financially driven, more social driven. Friends trying to do good through NFTs, a DAO within the Olympus DAO framework. Let's have a look at this Medium article. This was from three days ago. It says like they just want to do good things. <laughs> um, announcing Griffin. So they're releasing Griffin. Looks like their little Olympus DAO mascot. There's going to be an auction for little Griffin. 3,000 of them. 30, 333 Genesis NFTs. And holding one of these will be the only way to get into Discord for now. Ooh, so we've got a very exclusive community of 333. Then larger, we're going to have a 3,000 NFT public launch um, in the future. Wow, the Genesis Mint is 0 0.03. The public Mint is 0.11 ETH. That seems backwards to me. But I guess the whales can afford 0.11 ETH anyway. So regardless of what price it is, I guess it's just more for the public people, making that a little bit more affordable than the Genesis Mint would make sense to me. But regardless, FriendDAO is coming live. I like it. And I really like this whole discussion of an Olympus DAO ecosystem. And now that's what you want to see. You, you want to see people come, you want to see that's a, a great example of composability that's, that lives within crypto and, and DeFi that well, I don't know if composability works here. Um, this is more just an ecosystem play, but um, you know what I mean. Building within the Olympus DAO uh, ecosystem is great. Also, DCF God, who's very popular on Twitter, 30,000 followers, um, very respected voice. Will He, or they, excuse me, will be donating 50K of OHM to the friend DAO, their boy Jaws on Twitter, or Saiyan Shala. Is running it and he's going to use all the funds to create sustainable donations for some charities so dcf gods in that means a lot more people will be in all the dcf god cultists followers 
Next up, here's a fun one called FratDAO, the first decentralized fraternity. They actually are doing rushing, where they're actually having um, like pledge tasks, and they'll actually have to do little stupid things to get into the fraternity, very similar to real fraternities. So check out the Discord. How many in there? 616 members in the Discord, and I think you will have to rush to get in. Next up is a meme coin, JPA Inu is building a dog token index and the world's most exclusive collection of dog NFTs. I really like this one. I almost aped into this thing pretty heavy, but I held off because I was using my middle IQ, which is probably a, a deterrent, or probably a bad thing, I mean. So JPAW is a DAO with a reserve treasury made of high-performance dog tokens across layer ones and rare dog NFTs. Now, what are we talking about when we say, <coughs> what are those assets that we're holding? Looks like we're going to be holding where where is it down here we've got board ape kennel clubs we've got the doge we've got top kennel dog club i think we've also got um sheeb and dogecoin they want to hold as well so blue chip and uh, blue chip meme coins and then where are the reflection rates there's a 10 percent transaction fee which is ridiculously high is applied to each jpot trade four percent for marketing four percent for the dow war chest 2% for passive reflection rewards for the holders, Doge. Or, um, what is their token? JPAW, JPAW token. So they're going to be holding Doge and Sheep. They're betting on the continued growth of Doge, of dog tokens and NFTs by building a treasury that gives JPAW holders exposure to these assets. I really like this because then you don't really have to go and hunt dog coins and cat coins all day. Um, you can just buy JPAW and know you have exposure to our four legged furry friends. Cool. So we got the JPAW token. Where do I buy this JPAW token? On Ethereum. On uh, on Uniswap as well. Excuse Wonderful. Moving on to Kisha Inu. This is the Kishu token, which is another meme coin. They're having their own NFT collection, which I think is pretty cool. They've got the Tenshi token as well. We can come in here. If we come up here to apps, they've also they've got multiple applications, which is pretty cool. Go to the Kishuverse, and we should be able to connect our wallet and mint one of the Kishus if we wanted to. So they're on Ethereum. Unsure if they're um, if they're all minted out. Can't connect my wallet at the moment. Uh, but take a look. Have a look at the Kishuverse. I think it's pretty much it's. I think all NFT collections will have tokens. Tokens will have NFT collections. So in this case, we actually had the Kishu token, the meme coin first. Now we're getting an NFT collection where we're seeing a lot of NFT collections create tokens. But same concept, um, just a different organization here with Kishuverse and Kishu Inu token. Moving on to Bong Bears. This is an interesting one. We've got a rebase NFT collection. So we've got 100 absolutely zooted NFT bears. They've had two rebases. And now what do the rebases mean? Let's dive into OpenSea. We'll dive into Medium. I don't think they have a website. Looks like they're hanging out with Olympus DAO people. Looks like DCF God, another stale ward of this call today, is also talking to him. DCF God Capital has acquired a fifth parallel masterpiece for 80 ETH. Wow, DCF Dog Capital or God Capital. This one is in collab with Roach, Cap, and the boys from Bong Bears. Awesome. Jeez, those parallel cards. So here's the Bong Bears. We've got 107 of them. Their floor price is 10 ETH. So these are the Genesis Bong Bears. Then I believe every after a certain amount of time, we get different types of Bong Bears that get created. Uh, where are the James Bond Bears? We've got a bear drop incoming. That was October 29th. Ah, here's our website. Let me see if we can find some of these Bond bears, as in James Bond. Cool, so we'd have to connect our wallet to get into their website, unfortunately. But very, very interesting that these Genesis ones are already going for 10 ETH. We've got two different types of uh, bears after these. And quite an interesting concept. Let's go back to the medium real quick and see if we can get a valuation proposition here. If you're reading this, 100 new Bond Bears have rebased in two wallets holding the original bear. So if you held one of the original Bond Bears, you would get a James Bond bear. <laughs> Their feature will five breeds you know and love. So they've got, they got some metadata about them. 
Here's info about all the bon bears. Uh, here we go. So we're starting off with our Genesis bon bears. We've got 100 of them. Then we go to Epoch 2. We created 126 bond, bond bears, James Bond. Now we have 226 uh, total NFTs in the collection. We're into the third Epoch already. We created another 271 to create 497 in the total collection. And I think they're, they're called X bears. And then it looks like we're going to go up to seven different epochs. So we're into the third one. We're on, going on to the fourth. Very, very cool concept. Haven't really seen it before, but an NFT collection that has a rebasing feature in that new NFTs are created, I think based on a time frame, but I'm unsure what that is. So very, very cool concept there with Bong Bears and their Genesis ones are going for a pretty penny at the moment. Here's Avix. This is an annualized histority volatility index for Avalanche. Cool little website. They say more indicators are coming, and volatility is such a widely discussed topic um, in traditional finance on on Wall Street, and we really don't talk about it in crypto um, as much as we should outside of maybe Bitcoin and ETH because the volatility is so wild. But here is a wonderful volatility index for the Avalanche token. 30 days annualized historical volatility for Avalanche to USD with our volatility in red and our price in blue. So just when volatility tanked, the price of Avalanche started to skyrocket again. Good times. So they're going to have more metrics soon coming from Avix and the Avix project. Here's on-chain art. Uh, continually being more and more bullish on fully on-chain art and the powers and the premiums that investors will pay on those projects. It just seems to me that the the most crypto native people pay a massive premium for on-chain art. And here is a wonderful list of on-chain art. It's done by 0x chain art at on Twitter. That's their handle. Um, and here's our wonderful list. It's compiled and uh, curated for us. We've got Really, we got we got known projects like zero x mods, alt, alt noins, which are alt nouns, which are recent, anonymize, autoglyphs, of course, blip maps, crypto punks. They were put on chain um, after a while. Flowers by OCC, which is on chain collective. What else do I know? Luchadores. I didn't know they were on chain. Nouns, of course. Nouns DAO is on chain. Paint glyphs, pulse squares, quilts. So some really, really good projects here, 56 of them that you can dive into. And if you're looking for longer term value, a lot of them are pretty basic, but you can know you're betting on on-chain projects here, which I think um, is going to be important in the future. Moving on to DreamDAO here, we got something for the Gen Zers, powered by Civics Unplugged. I don't know them, but DreamDAO is training and funding diverse Gen Zers to explore Web3 and make social change. You can mint an NFT, a Skywalker Z, and, and help you know invest in the future. I was really surprised because when I came here before, oh good, they did sell out. I was here last week and they hadn't sold out, and I was I was shocked. If I was a Gen Zero, I would have bought as many as I could. Um, but they raised 114,000 for Gen Z, selling these little mini avatar characters. They look really they look really good. They cost 0 0.1 ETH. We could have connected our wallet. Um, there's 501c3 social enterprise, or founded by Civics Unplugged, which is a 501c3. I think that's a type of nonprofit. The Dream DAO exists to help Gen Zers build. They want to train, connect, fund. And the coolest thing about this whole thing is that um, they're all Gen Zers themselves. So we got Zoe and Gari and Dario, uh, Thania and Ashley, all with it, all between 15. And 18 years old, everywhere from India, Brazil, Vancouver, Kentucky, and Florida. How cool is that? So well done to these people leading the way with Gen Z is starting an NFT collection. Now that they have an NFT collection, they can always start a token. Um, and now they're going to be able to fund and become an angel investor and incubator for other Gen Zers that want to get into the space. So massively bullish. Well done, team. Moving on to Bleepsdow, owner of the first fully on-chain sounds on Ethereum. We were just talking about on-chain artworks, on-chain piece on visual. Uh, here's on-chain music, audio NFTs. We go over to bleeps.art, and I went on to the Goerly testnet, which is an Ethereum testnet where you can test ap applications. 
bleeps was working. Um, you could mint one of the different bleeps that had different types, I guess you could say. Mint bleeps, become a bleeper, earn royalties, and then join the bleeps DAO. So I think sales coming soon. We could check out the demo. We could check out the bleeps auction sale. Well, we'd have to connect into Gmail, which we won't do. So, but that is bleeps DAO coming out pre-launch um, on chain, fully on chain sounds on Ethereum. Which, if you think we're going to have fully on chain music in the future, um, I think this this is one of the precursors, similar to Euler Beats. Moving on to Versus. I believe this one's a bit of a stealth DAO. It's got some really good followers. And then we've had people saying that they're verifying themselves at Versus, like 0xWalkie, the head of Gitcoin, and a few others. So, yeah, we're stealth. We're still stealth. But they say Versus is, we, they say we write Versus, and they invite us to join them towards a better web. Moving on to DAO Pulse. This is devoted to research on-chain to is devoted to research on community engagement in crypto and the new metrics used to analyze it. Great. So in the past, when we talked about valuations in fin in the financial world in Wall Street, it was they call it fundamental fundamental analysis based on the analysis of actual performance compared to expectations. Then also using a lot of quantitative metrics um, around that. And then that leads into earnings calls and did you hit earnings, blah, blah, blah. A lot of quantitative analysis um, that's financial. Now, this is d dedicated to community engagement research, which can be quantitative, which is really cool if we can quantify it. Um, so where is their little... They released... I think, I think they've released a few different articles um, talking about Olympus Dow. And then it looks like they also started one... Uh, November 4th, yes, about the new era of liquidity that's coming. And it looks like they're talking about Alchemix, DeFi 2.0. So here it is. They started off their first one, the, um, their first pretty much research piece on the rise of Olympus Dow and did an article on this. So Dow polls, I think what they said in the end for Olympus Dow, coming back to the social metrics that they want to prove, believe if we go to the bottom... Peaks in sentiment analysis preceded eventual price increases. So they had, a, uh, they had a metric on sentiment. They saw a spike in that social sentiment. And then after a, um, a determined amount of time, they also saw a spike in price and are trying to say that there's some correlation to that. So, or causation, which one? So very, very cool. Looks like they're written on Olympus Dow. And then two days later, uh, Dow... No, on November 4th, they're also writing about DeFi 2.0. So very, very cool getting into on-chain community engagement and something that I'm kind of um, calling meme valuations or, uh, yeah, meme val pretty much meme valuations and how can we memetically value an organization, you know, Twitter growth, Discord vote growth, um, you know, number of messages within the community, um, time spent per visit, all of those basic things, but then taking that a step further with our Web3 wallets, Um and talking about things like how long did your air, how long was your airdrop held? Um, a lot of things like token distribution between um, NF between holders, how many different people hold them, and then diving into um, a, a lot of detailed stuff. So Dow Pulse is getting into that detailed stuff. Here's Omi or Omi Swap, which is an a wanting to be an OHM fork that's a sushi swap fork. So they want to be a sushi swap fork, excuse me, a sushi swap fork that houses um, OHM liquidity pools. And I think there was a vote that's going on. They have a Discord. I think they're discussing whether this is a good idea between the OHM community. Here's a meme coin, Akita Inu ASA, the best community coin on the Algorand blockchain. So we've got a meme coin, Akita Inu on Algorand. Ooh, let's look at some statistics. Here we go. It was created on October 6th, 1 billion of them. They got a logo, site launch, airdrop was October 31st. Cool. So we've got 1 billion Akita tokens on Algorand. Next up is Scholars, NFTs, and Education. Hurry to join the pre sale list on Discord. They, I believe, are building a Scholar DAO. They want to do live Web3 learning sessions create a learning space access or a dedicated learning space for holders. 
They want to have a community, educational conferences, exclusive cohort-based courses, expand the Kohler species, and then build a Disneyland university called Cognia. Very cool. So I believe they're starting out with some NFTs to be part of the community, and then you can help build and, and build that NFT learning community. There's only about 30 people in the Discord at the moment. I think we have a few pro profile picture NFTs to end the call today. Here are Ada Phantoms. So anybody that's a Cardano holder and a Cardano lover, here we are for you. We're getting NFTs. We're getting NFT marketplaces. So should be all in. 3,500 3, of them. They look all right. They're cute little phantoms. Um, it's all about who the team is, what's the long-term utility of them. Ready to haunt the Cardano blockchain and CNFT, which is their NFT marketplace. Next up is Noundles. This is a what they're calling a crossover collection. Well, we've got a crossover between nouns and also doodles. So this is when nouns meet your doodles, and they're called Noundles. Not affiliated with either of them, but they look really cool. And they had this really cool deck to the Noodle Bank. So they got had this really sweet deck. Looks like they've got Jeff, the illustrator, David, the developer. They've got a mission. They've got goals. I think they're going to do a stealth launch, 0 0.04, 888 of them of these Noundles. And then the key thing is staking, staking for rainbow tokens. So all Noundles holders can stake. They're going to be earning five rainbows a day. Cool. And then that's what Noundles look like. I like it. They're nice little crossovers. And I think last one of the day, Divine Anarchy. Here we have an NFT collection for the lovers of anime. Let's check out their website and actually let's check out OpenSea. I'm curious what their floor price is. Floor price is about 0 0.25 ETH. Oh, we're pre-reveal. Awesome. So we're pre-reveal. It's a pretty high pre-reveal pre -reveal price. Seems like people are excited about this. Typically, we'll see a price drop after, after reveal. Um... So, don't know when reveal is. Let's see their website. They sold out 10,000 of them. Pretty cool little anime art. Definitely got a, um, they've got different looks, looks like tribes or different um, races of our little anime characters. Sweet. So, cool, cool pieces of art. Where are the founders? There's the team. It looks like we've got a three person team that's anonymous, which is understandable. Well, not understandable, but typical of, of the NFT community, which is fine too. Sweet. So they're already revealed high price. So it looks like people are excited about them. We've got about 1,500 in volume traded. So well, we had about 6 million in, in volume traded after the minting. And that's it for the week, I believe. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone that got this far. Anybody that's still here with us right now, thank you very much. You really enjoy uh, the Project Discovery as much as I do. We do this five days a week for our pro members. So check out Collective Shift. Come join us. Um, and we do these every um, Monday through Friday for America, Tuesday through Saturday for Asia Pacific. And that is about it. Right on time, about 28. Once again, thank you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, and we'll be back next week. Bye for now.